Imagine a star, not like the ones we see today, but a massive star powered not by nuclear fusion, but by a black hole at its core. These massive objects are known as quasi-stars and might have existed in the early stage of the universe. Picture this. A quasi-star is born when the core of a massive protostar collapses into a black hole. Unlike a supernova, the outer layer absorbs the released energy without being blown away. These stars could reach 10 million times the sun's mass, even bigger than some galaxies and black holes. Quasi-stars may also have formed from dark matter halos, drawing in enormous amounts of gas via gravity which can produce supermassive stars with tens of thousands of solar masses. Due to its massive size, the lifespan of a quasi-star is relatively short, roughly seven million years. During this time, the core black hole at their center grew significantly, suggesting as the progenitors for the modern supermassive black holes, such as one in the galaxy's center. The surface temperature of the quasi-star is predicted to exceed 10,000 Kelvin, and a radius of approximately 800,000 times that of the Sun. Each quasi-star would shine as bright as a small galaxy. As a quasi-star cools, its outer envelope becomes transparent, eventually reaching a limit temperature of 4,000 Kelvin and growing to the size of 30 solar systems. At this point, the star loses its hydrostatic equilibrium, leading to a rapid dissipation and leaving behind an intermediate mass black hole. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.